hello guys this is blue sky happy new year to all of you who are watching my video thank you for the little views i can hope that will increase day by day so in last video i told you to that i will show about the career mode starting in my next video so in this video i am showing you that so <coughs> the first few step is very important it will uh, will you take a manager career or a player career so i prefer manager career player career is not actually my thing manager career is what i will show you i'm not using the original version of the fifa 19 so that uh, no internet connection for me uh, i play with arsenal my favorite team now the manager the avatar which uh, will be your manager avatar will shown will be shown <coughs> during the game so there are plenty of options here so he is the oldest this man is the oldest one and he you can say he is the second oldest many options two african american and one asian that's all now so in my first few years of career mode i was using this man so then i noticed that many players uh, who play in career mode using this guy so in last year i changed it a little bit i went for this african american guy um with suit but uh, uh, i think this year i will go for another change i will take this guy if you uh, <coughs> played the fifa um journey mode then you will see that this man is uh, assistant coach for real madrid who trains hunters a lot so in case of outfit which is will go for there is option suits only shirt and tie or track suit so suit is the best option i like this most this will be my avatar uh, name mister will be good no manager i will try my original name here nationality england okay no problem though my nationality in england room is that doesn't matter for me which nations i'm from so that's i'll press the done we are done here then uh, uh, we have to select every settings here so journey players do i want my journey players here yes i do i want them i played the journey hole and um, unlocked these two players so i want them transfer window in first summer is enabled i will do it European competition is enabled, uh, so um, enabled. Uh, Arsenal will play in the Europa League. Match difficulty professional. So, guys, in my first video, I told you I play for semi pro. For a long time, I'm playing semi pro difficulties. So, this year, I have decided to go for the professional. I want to upgrade myself. I played a few match in professional difficulty today, five or six matches, and i able to win all of them. Half length, four minutes, enough currency. This is the most important things here. Currency, as you are playing uh, European leagues, the English Premier League or Spanish league or the German Bundesliga, dollar is not a good choice for you. I prefer to go for euro. If you are playing English Premier League, you can go for the sterling, but euro is the best. Stadium, we know that everything Arsenal stadium is. Emirates Stadium and that cannot be um, can you cannot change it so we go for advance now it will take a couple of minutes <coughs> to load everything every your uh, manager mode game schedule fixtures your challenge your everything just yeah and here also you can see some small news about uh, transfers will come here so here we have done you have to open a new save file so i like to open my save file with the year name that would be best and pre-season tournament invitation do you want to advance uh, participate in the pre-season tournaments so what i do traditionally in my last seven or eight years in this game I declined the but I declined the participation. I don't uh, participate in the preseason tournaments in my first season. I wait for the second season. So I will decline. If you want, you can advance. But you will get at least four, um, six matches, uh, five matches there to play. It will help you to uh, rearrange your team, find a good formation, find a good combination, uh, first eleven, and test your teams and test risk. How are you? 
so here we go then this is how the career mode menu looks if you are an old player you are familiar now this is you can see there is a monitor here a small cutscene is going there with the European uh, Europa League draw here this is the new edition here in this year's FIFA so in first uh, pages uh, first page you can get the advanced here is the you can see the calendar you can you have the calendar your transfer hub standings training uh, news that's all you have transfer hub i will talk about this in our transfer portion in uh, squad squad you have uh, what i have uh, discussed in my last video about team sheets so here is the team sheet you can change it here you can put another team sheet here everything there is possible uh, you can put another team sheet here like uh, you can add a new team sheet press and add i will show it in the next video in <coughs> uh, in more depth and more discussion will be there about the new team sheet and other team sheets so squad hub squad hub what is squad hub squad hub is you have the list of every player you have also you have can you can see the players who are on loan and you can see sorry you can see david ospina is in the napoli um Mackay, i don't know where he is uh, he's at the plymouth and uh, you can see uh, each and every player who are on loan there and who are in your team hunting so the first one is overall first is jersey number position name their overalls their roles form and morale in stats you can see how many matches they played how many goals they scored assists they scored and the clean sheets they get in attributes that's overall and overall changes how much it's in it, does the overall is increasing or is decreasing that's all and financially you can see their current price their value and their wage and contract now this one is very important because uh, you can see here that um, one of my player like Lick Steiner he has his contracts he has only one year remaining in his contract so in this season I have to offer him a new contract um, otherwise uh, I will lose him in the next uh, season beginning of the next season free he will join another club for free no uh, I will get no I will not get any money so I have to offer him a new contract another thing is wage you can see how uh, what wage they are getting for if uh, in case of offering a new contract you have to increase the wage increase the salary <coughs> the player offer a new increase in good salary to them we will talk it later also so this is important you have to find out in every season that how many players contracts are expiring at the end of the season now i can see there is a lot of lot of players who have remained just only one year remaining in their contract so i have to renew contracts of them um, if i want to keep them uh, in my squad next season or if i don't i will just let them uh, finish their contract and join another club for free now that's all the financial uh, we will have more discussion about it in the upcoming videos one more thing is to be noticed there if a player is retiring at the end of the contract like you can see um, Nacho Monreal there is an option of contract negotiation here but in case of you can see the Lichsteiner there is no option of contract extension because this player is retiring at the end of his contract so you cannot offer him a new contract because he is just retiring and you cannot um, put him on the transfer list or anything that's uh, for this guy so this is how this squad hub portion works and there's uh, something new will come uh, in national squad we'll talk about it when the situation will come now transfer <coughs> everything is very funny here and uh, wonderful global transfer network i you have um, some scouts in your team when you start the game and you can send them to any location like this this man patrick robinson he is currently in spain uh, ethan davis is currently in england uh, and vasiliev is in italy uh, the Crick raid and joachim magnuson they are not 
in any country for scouting they are available so you send play scout to the country like you can say for example i'm showing you uh, i will uh, send this man to germany and then send this man to germany um sorry to germany here i am sending him to germany this man will go to germany and will find players for me and ethan davis he has found some player here you can see there is some player he has found for the my team now it uh, doesn't really necessary for you to sign every player the squad fine you will see judge them uh, the best thing to judge is their age and their overalls like uh, jamie verdi is very good player with 82 overall striker but he's 31 so i will not sign him i'm not signing a pl player of 30s in my team that's not good for me and also this man is 21 but uh, we don't know his overalls yet because he is a not well known player so you uh, we uh, if you want to sign him we can tell my scout davis to scout adams and you can see it here there is a portion of the line says six days remaining. after six days we'll get a proper scout report of this man and we can um, know that how much he's over but from the summary here i hope he is not i am guessing that it will not uh, much better for me at least i am looking for at least 80 overall for my team and this man is uh, sigurdsson he has good overall 82 age 28 it's good not bad uh, but uh, his value is uh, you can see 22 2.2 million here and uh, wait 22 million and wage is 125,000 so this wage is pretty much high for me so probably who will uh, demand a more higher wage than he's getting in the Everton so I will not sign him too so, so this uh, there is some matter that you and uh, we will see when we want to sign a player so here is the list so I will probably not go with go with anybody I will later put some scouting because I want need some player in search player and in transfer hub in search player um you can search for any player like i will search for a good player i have came to know the christian pulisic 19 year old very much um potential player if you read the newspaper or online photos today that uh, recently just today on um, this the 2nd january uh, chelsea signed him chelsea signed him for 22 millions so i will also try to sign this man and i will shortlist him in the transfer hub now this then i will um, i want to show you that how transfer hub works actually i have shortlisted places you can always search any player here by name or you can go for if um, the uh, overalls or you can go for the positions like if you want a goalkeeper then press goalkeeper and just submit the search you will see many goalkeepers available so that's how in future we will work and we will see now let's go to the transfer hub how the transfer hub work now here see we have shortlisted policy in the transfer hub and here is transfer hub and here we can buy okay we can approach borussia dortmund to buy christian policy so i will not go for the negotiation at this moment because this is not i'm not going to start my play here i'm just here to show you how things work so here we buy in the next video i will show you how a negotiation work there is a very good cutscene here you will like it now that's all in the transfer and transfer history that's the bullshit here in inbox that's the uh, one of the another important things here inbox you have some objects here now here is an objects of shirt sales they are um, giving me a target to earn at least uh, it will be um, about 1 billion 1.5 billion uh, in from shirt sales they wanting uh, it's a huge amount from short sales. Uh, that is the transfer information. He another chief executive from he will always tell me about an update, keeping me updated with the investigation and their visions and what the objects the boards are wanting from me. You see, in youth development, they uh, set a target sign one youth player uh, in your youth academy in midfielder position and sign one youth player the senior team in the same season. We uh, they were scouted. They mean five matches either as part of uh, starting level or coming on sub. So they mainly wanting me to increase my youth academy. Uh, they are demanding uh, to sign a midfielder in my youth academy, and they want to sign a player from youth academy to senior squad and play them at least five matches. 
that I can do. Brand exposure, as we say, they demanded a very high shirt sales short term in this season, long term you can see. In three seasons, they want 3.8 billion. Financially, they want to say in three season increase the club worth by 25%. There is a club value there. We have to increase it 25% in three season. Domestic success, they want um, Premier League with a Champions League place. They want to at least fourth place. And FA Cup, um, they wanted uh, want us to reach at least the final. And continual success, Europa League, they want to win this. And it's a high priority. This is a high priority. If you fail the high priority objects, there is a chance that you could be fired at the end of the season. So that's, uh, you have to take it seriously. Assistant manager has come with this scout report. Uh, what we have showed you that uh, Mr. Davis uh, has found us some nine players. And um, we will not go with that. And Ethan Davis, he is introducing my, he has a, uh, he has uh, sent me a message about this. In player composition, some play some players from your teams will come up with um, come here and uh, demanding to play next matches or rest next matches or they will object for not getting too many chances. Sometimes thanking you for getting enough chances. That's all. So here's the inbox, which is very 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 important. Uh, in youth stuff, and this is what the our. Uh, things are good uh, are well enough then scout they want us to hire i have to hire a scout i have no scout here i have to hire a scout for my youth academy so here i can see the best one is this man uh shamus donati is available now the best man here for the job so i will sign him uh sign him and i will send him i say i will set up a scouting network here so just remember this is not that like transfer uh, global transfer network here i am looking for young players only young players who are not signed to any teams that i'm looking so i will send for uh, i will keep a uh, start a <coughs> setup is currently at england um i think three months will be enough and i will uh, want a playmaker here okay so here he is going for this scouting and that's uh, another uh, thing you can see your career stats here uh, season by season and overall uh, browse jobs is not much available now uh, it will available in the middle of the season and finance and other important things so here you can see what is your earning expenses and profits profit you can see it's minus 2.86 million because i had a scout for 2.86 million i have not started any game so no earnings here transactions you can see there is only one expense 2.8 million i have exp uh, i spent on a scout and by budget now here is it's a very technical technical one in arsenal we have not as much as money like real madrid barcelona manchester united or manchester city or paris saint germain so we have very little money for transfer and very little wage budget so you have to um when you sign a player or when you renew up the contract of a player you have to keep in mind about this wage budget you have you have to keep the total wage of your team within this given wage budget it's the weekly budget so and and it's very low very low it's too much low you cannot sign high player so what i do here i just increase my wage budget a little bit i don't sign too much player a season uh, i think 80 percent is enough uh, that will be good for me i have to sign a few players or i have to win the contracts of uh, lots of players this year so it will be good for me 524,000. i will go for that that's the final experience objective we have you can see object and the progress object anytime you are wanting this in this portion and lastly the season uh, average the settings are like that uh, same setting we uh, uh, sh showed you in the uh, main game menu in standings you can see a standings in everywhere the premier league you can see the um, fa cup uh, position we are not still in the cup fa cup starts on the january so that's not here uh, the carabao cup carabao cup you can see here we are there uh, our match is okay it's not round one it's not in round one uh, arsenal is not playing in round one that's the uh, sure uh, i think later i will they'll come okay 
Super Cup final we are not in the Madrid Direct League Madrid will play and in the Champions League we are not also there we are in the Europa and here you see we are with the Rapid Wayne, Esberg and FC are correct sorry for my pronunciation if I pronounce it right and that's it uh, the every competition standing you can see here in the player stats you can see of the player is the top scorer assist makers clean sheets yellow cards red cards in of every competition premier league FA Cup, all and the team stats is also like this uh in a certain command like in premier league how your player performed or in the emirates FA Cup, how your player performed you can see everything in here so that's what come there and last two things are uh, one is calendar you can see your whole calendar here like you see no match in july in august uh, 12 we starting the kicking of the premier league with manchester city playing with manchester city and you can see this um uh, this means the transfer window uh, from july to august uh, this whole two months transfer window we can buy and sell players and loan players in this portion and if you want to keep up with the other leagues you can keep like bundesliga and all other leagues the main league available here you can see the results of that those leagues here so that's what um, <coughs> all about the career mode here you can see so you can start your career mode and play i think i will <coughs> finish my video here today thank you for watching of course in upcoming videos i will show you uh, some next portion of help how to sign a player and how to go on with the career mode here so thank you if you like the video please smash the like button subscribe put your comment and uh, subs and subscribe my channel and um, watch the other videos of my channel